this is also the stuff that I need to discuss um, in respect to uh, in respect to my Citroen, you know. We're gonna take this off. We're gonna go here. This issue here. Let's see this here. Um, huh, what is this shit here? Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here to this website here. No, so. Me this way, it's here. This website. This is the website right here. It says the internet store with the car parts and such and this and that and so on and so forth. This stuff was already involved in MK Ultra. Um, coming up with uh, some outstanding costs in respect to this stuff here. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I might have even failed in respect to this. I mean, what we're going to do is let's go with this stuff here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go here. Let's go. We're going to know immediately what's going on here with this stuff. I am hunting for something. Could be I'm actually even too late. I'm not too late. I'm okay. Hard parts SE. I'm actually like really, 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 really on time. All right, this is basically what it says here that you have uh, what you see right here that the cost is eight euros and 89 cents for this piece here, let's say, that you see. It says here 1.545 millimeter, 14, 135, 13, 145. Then you have this one here, 178. It's actually the outstanding quality. Because usually the cheapest ones come with a uh, 0 0.735 and so on. Um, now nah, that's something else. But um, this costs here, this stuff that you see here. Okay, let's go with this here. I was told to video record this website. This, 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 um, you know, this is actually the same website that you have seen like a little earlier, except that the cost that you have seen a little earlier, uh, like I'm gonna say, like totally, totally in expectation, in expectations, I should say, they were realistic. Now, however, this stuff here, what is it? The address? You see this here? Fratershtice 152 Zagreb. You're gonna do this stuff here. This was actually done so that I would identify. Um, I'm just we're just gonna go and we're gonna close this stuff here because it doesn't make any sense here. These are other websites that don't, in this case, do not pertain to the issue I am discussing right now. Uh, I am discussing the manufacturer, a producer of car parts. So the car parts from Croatia, from neighboring Croatia here in Slovenia. <clears throat> it's the man who was involved in MK Ultra and so on. 
This is the area where you see right here who was involved that was involved in MKL trial. This street here, for instance, was involved in MKL trial. And um, what you have seen as I started video recording this stuff here, you know, now what we're going to do is I'm going to go back here. And just keep in mind, you're going to keep in mind um, this here, this is what I'm referring to. Um, sorry, I'm referring to this here, which is Carparts SC is the address, you see, right? Carparts SC, you can see it. And um, I'm going to change this here to what used to be before, a little early when I started to do the search when I started to play with this because I, I just want to make a point here about this stuff. Sklopka, that means um, that's a transmission related stuff, you know, <laughs> and uh, what is it now? Are we here? Okay, we are here. Sorry, I did uh, click next to it and then I found myself in a lot of trouble. All right. So I'm going to scroll down like this. See, I am keeping in mind looking for the, uh, we're going to close this down also to the car parts SC. Well, we're going to go ahead and close both of this here. And I'm going to concentrate on car parts SC. You know, so that I get uh, the website from pressure, out of pressure is what basically we are out of pressure, like this, and we're going to go here, and we're going to get the first one here that you see here, and that's, as you see right here, car parts SE, and it says here, out of pressure, car parts SE, but in this case here, this is uh, Citroën Sara Picasso, but this is not even my car, no, forget about that. Um, but still, it's a Citroën Xara, you know. And my car is a Xara, except that this is not van. This is just a little uh, sedan, is what it is. Okay, so if I go back here, and um, I shouldn't even go up here, back and back and forth, and this and that. <coughs> But I can go and I can change here a vehicle. So I want to be really, really, very, very careful with this. So this is this is like so cheap. As you see right there, it's like kind of insane. But this is for the Citroen Xara. Even though this is for the Picasso, still this is so damn cheap that it's just damn unbelievable. Okay. This is actually very, very important uh, for me to make the point. In I'm going to use this as a proof of MK Ultra. You, if you're an investigator, you're investigating this stuff here. I am submitting it right now another proof of MK Ultra. There are different ways to identify. There are different ways to investigate certain issues and prove even the point. That's basically how I'm doing. I'm basically creating a case. Of the case, of the case, of the case about proving basically existence. Well, something that is not due to political uh, politicians, I should rather say, and political affiliation of these politicians, convenient, or I should say, it was not convenient for police, for investigators to even stop this as a crime you know all right so what we're going to do is we're going to take this one here this is basically my car here that you see um i'm not thinking about it's like uh, this here this stuff here Yeah, like dirty, dirty, dirty cheap stuff. I mean, it's like for like six euros, four euros, 
6.3 euros, 6.3. It's like so damn cheap that it's unbelievable. Um, I don't have to see, say anything because the price right there, you can see this is in euros. Compare this to the dollars, somewhat the same thing. And you're going to get quickly an idea that this is very, very unrealistic. Now, let me see that stuff here. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. And we're going to do it like this. I'm going to do this just real fast to prove the point. Then I'm going to go back. So I'm going to give you a comparison now for Slovenian market as per. Uh, this is a gasket. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, this is a gasket seal, seal gasket. Um, engine gasket, all right? Um, what exactly, what is it? I mean, Citroën. Um, uh, let's do it like this, I like that. And we're going to add to this stuff. Uh, on and on and bam, bam. For Slovenia, um, what exactly? What exactly are we talking about here? So we're, we're not going to be wasting time here. What? What exactly? Okay, definitely it's not four bucks, all right? He definitely, definitely, definitely is not four bucks. How much you're going to say? How much is it? Well, you know. Let's see how much is it. Now you're talking about basic 22 euros. You're talking about 28 euros. You're talking about 30 euros. You're talking about 30 euros. This is like, I can assure you, a price more or less. This is the average price. Come on, man. And that's basically the price range we are talking about more 34 and 40 and, and such, you know? So, Right now, when you're watching this stuff and you're seeing this stuff, the address here next to the costs here that I presented you in respect to this website suggests two things. You have to be genius. For a it's uh, 152 Zagreb, Croatia. Obviously, this is not the address from, um, from this manufacturer. So, what exactly, what the hell is going on here? What's going on here? This man was involved in MKUltra, the owner I'm talking about, but it was not only him. It was entire Croatian industry that was involved in it, including uh, weapons manufacturing industry. I am sure you have heard about the Rimac. Uh, he made news that went around the world about his uh, fast uh, cars and that kind of stuff. Uh, what well, the thing about it is, the entire industry was involved in it in Croatia. They use my case to promote their uh, economic interests, trade, that kind of stuff. So they got this investors in Croatia. They got the technology from abroad. They needed uh, so the country could prosper itself. Yeah, so. You see what I'm talking about? You can see this. Clearly, you can see it. Um, but what, what's... Uh, if we go here, you can see. You can see you can see this. You can see the prices. The prices are completely different for the piece that I demonstrated you. And this is, a, for instance, is another company. And I can show you this is the price. This is the way it goes. Yeah, this is the way it goes. Uh, let me see this here. Boom, boom, boom. And we're going to take, okay, here, <clears throat> so now, yeah, 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 okay, so here we go, okay, so you put crow, Ventila Glave, no, doesn't matter. We'll probably have it here, and if I don't have it, I'm just going to use the other one. I'm going to click here, and then I'm going to get basically what I want. So, you see that the costs are crazy. 
78, 87, 90 to 100 euros. But this is like a set of this seal, so I completely agree it's not the same thing. But this here, this is not, and it's 78. So this shit is really, really, it's expensive. All right. Uh, the closest store to me here uh, is this one here. It's called Euroton. This is an Italian company that is extremely reliable. Um, they are everywhere in Slovenia. Uh, and it's a company that you would want uh, to use. Now, this is a kit here. I get it. This is more than just one seal. It's more than just about, uh, um, you know, engine gasket uh it's a whole set of seals i don't know i hope i'm not gonna have to but i probably will the one who took responsibility during mk ultra and who also stated me during mk ultra for the car um that would do something like this to the car was uh, an individual that was uh, repairing my car um, somebody whom I have trusted literally with my life Uh, his words to me during MK Ultra uh, next to demonstrating me where to buy this part during MK Ultra his words to me this is uh, maybe even the most famous man in the village. No, his, the man is right here. This is this is the house. He's got several brothers. His name is Senichar, uh, a mechanic that used to work in general hospitals. And our master is an ambulance uh, maintenance mechanic. Um, I considered one as the best friend in the village. I mean, somebody I would definitely go to for anything. And he stated me during MK Ultra that if he had to, he would go to the jail and this and that and that kind of stuff. Um, I certainly hope he's gonna not going to take responsibility for it uh, because I, it's kind of tough for me to accept the fact that he would do something like this to me. And therefore, that he would go and uh, abuse the trust uh, to a degree as far as this. Um, I certainly hope that police investigators, police officers used a silicon masks. So that's what I'm saying, that I hope that he will decline and not accept responsibility for it. He was involved in it and he was demonstrating me these parts inside of our house that my parents would not allow anything like this to be anywhere if it was not for him. He knows about this case. He was involved since 1995. Um, I certainly hope so. Um, I'm actually even afraid to think about if he did something like this. If he did something like this, then I don't know. I have no idea what to say. Uh, I guess that he already figured out what he's gonna, where he's gonna have to go be if he did something like this. This this is not to me to decide about anything like this. I consider one as a dear friend, but if he did go that far to do crazy shit like this, then this is just this isn't my problem. That kind of stuff, man. Um,
I don't really. I don't even dare to 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 to, to think about the stuff like this. And this, this is uh, something else. I don't want to get into that stuff. It doesn't make sense to talk for me about the stuff like this because I don't know. Uh, but anyhow, we we I don't have any kind of information confirmed about this stuff. And this is really not my problem. This is the problem for the law enforcement. This is not my problem. If you do this stuff like this. Uh, and if he already was so smart that he figured out that if he will have to, he will go sit inside of the jail. You know, this this isn't this is just as I stated, a uh, job for somebody else. Uh, so this here is a local store here, Erathon. Then there is another one, and uh, it's a little bit crazy in respect to. Uh, obtaining this, it's 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 really kind of website. It's not exactly um, um, what you call not exactly the the very very logical stuff. But okay, um, so you go here and uh, they mention all the c categories. Um, and uh, in particular, I'm interested in an engine, and that's the main thing, probably when it comes to cars. This is a really specialized in cars uh, store. Uh, tough, because accumulator, ele electricity, tires, uh, oils, uh, extras, uh, cleaning basically type and then there is uh, as it says here that is at Medelli and it doesn't say anything but probably this is what it is and then talking about the engine and all that other shit so let's see exactly what we have going on here all right so I have the window here that opens up uh, it appears just uh, not very properly arrayed uh, store uh, here in Slovenia, that they didn't, they probably it's like a poor job, right? So let's go here. I'm going to go here, and it's going to be um, oh, we're going to do this here, and um, <laughs> um, they call the car a box, basically. I don't know. Nothing. So I, I don't understand what box would be. A sedan is really not a box. The box is something else, and um, it can be box and a hatchback and a box and uh, uh, and uh, sedan and stuff like this. But all right, this is here in Slovenia. They know this to promote stupid Zaboynik, which is was to remind me of MK Ultra, of a stupid, really stupid. Slovenian choice for actually non-existing uh, car model just so they would annoy me in exactly the same way they annoyed me uh, during MK Ultra. Uh, box, when you, when you say box, you know, box, um, if you want to go box, you know, um, this is this. This is a fucking box. It's it's a different different uh, model. It's a different thing. When you say a hatchback and you say box, uh, and you know this is just probably they did this shit to remind me that we had this kind of conversation. A box is this, you know. This is a boxy car. Uh, the box is this here. This is a boxy car. Uh, but when you're talking about hatchback or sedan, that's like totally different. Totally, totally different car. So, but in Slovenia, they did on this particular website, which is, they were involved all these stores, is what I'm trying to say, uh, to give me this 
as a box, basically, to remind me that we had this kind of conversation already. Doesn't matter, okay? I'm just giving you more MPO proofs here about this stuff here. So we use this here, and we go to uh, basically engine issues, and um, I am just going to go here, and let me see if this is the one. Yeah, it is. There you go. The price is ranging about like 12 to 13, 14 euros, which is like a really good price. Uh, let me see that more. Strenium set. I see here even 10 euros. Uh, what can I say, man? That's like a really damn good. That's a good. That's a very, very good price. Uh, let's see what else they have. The Snealers of Block Motoria. And that's a totally different uh, price. Um, they also told me don't go and just open this and that and then bam bam. Um, it was talk about what's going to be and they made an estimate it's going to be 50 bucks. But it was this mechanic who told me, don't just go and just buy this and this and this and that, but first go and see, open the car, see what is, what is not, uh, and then buy whatever the hell you need. But they told me it's going to be rough, we're going to write it down, 50 bucks, boom. That's what you're going to be doing, that kind of stuff. So this is like, who knows? Was it that he did the job, or was it that... Uh, Seller already sold me the car as such. The car was parked right where it was, and the only thing that happened was it was the oil under the car, uh, which rather indicates, uh, I, you know, I, I don't want to go and speculate on something that I'm not certain. It doesn't make me sense. Um, you can... Either way, because I was not, I didn't sleep inside of the car, nor did I had a cameras or anything that would monitor. So saying at this point anything other than what I stated, that it would just be a plain stupidity. Um, the car had gasket blown, just as I have explained already in detailed video. Uh, I don't know what the year was, like 2000. And, uh, uh, I don't know what I stated because I don't want to go because for every every issue uh, you have to recall and recall and recall to get exact date and I can't go and jump in issues that in MK Ultra just like this I have to take a walk concentrate on issues and calculate time uh, events and so on so that I would get the exact number but whatever I stated in the video that's exactly what it is so was it like in 2012 or 2008? It doesn't matter, really. They had the only thing they have not replaced during the service, in fact, was an uh, uh, engine coolant liquid. And the engine coolant liquid, when they did the whole service, uh, brought car to uh, overheating and... Uh, the, uh, the engine gasket was finished. It's enough the police officer, um, because it was involved in this case, um, it didn't have to blow the fucking gasket. It was enough that she was involved in the fucking thing. You understand? Well, let me explain to you something. Um... It's the police that enforced. She worked for the police, but it was the police that enforced the fucking crime. So if it said on the car, and you were involved in it, and they told you this is the car you're going to have to sell to this guy. So if it said so many, so many miles, you have to replace this and this and this and that. What I'm trying to say is you could have not replaced in her circumstances, uh, I should say serviced, a cooling liquid on 10 other cars, same car, same model, same years, same mileage, everything, same shit, it would be okay. 
but because she was involved in it and by because the police goes by the book and they look when you're doing this kind of service, this and this and that, you should also change this, 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 this and this. And they look under every symptom. If you don't, what can happen? And if they want to get certain symptom that they're going to present to me in the future as an issue, then the only thing they're going to do is they're going to go and fuck you, basically. What that means is that lady went to work, the police officers stopped by, head mechanic, replace completely okay gasket with a fucked up one and that's it man uh, that's all it takes do I know this no I do not it's possible everything is possible including that it might have happened to her however she never mentioned to me this during the sale I managed to put information from the memory of my own she should have had mentioned to me during a sale therefore when it comes to this mechanic here even that he stated to me what I stated to you right now that that possibly he was the one who stated that he would do this even for the cost of jail um, we have to go with the official account and that's the account she presented her son presented also to me during MK Ultra something they speculated on that could also get them in the jail um, for doing this kind of for 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 a sale like this to me of a vehicle that you own this close uh, issues such issues uh, and you're selling the car uh, exactly according to uh, a police instructions pertaining to MK Ultra. You are the one who is officially liable, not this man here, unless he would confess that he did something like this, in my eyes, he remains as innocent. It's only a speculation. Uh, a police, maybe even he did, uh, to cover her ass, to cover the ass of the police, to maybe spread, or I should say, maybe create like a collateral uh, fault for the people involved, you know, more parties involved. So basically, so many fucking parties that nobody is guilty. Because if you will take care and so on, it doesn't. This is only, only in their head. Justice works different. Justice just, you know, the judge, typical judge who do the job, and any other judge who do a different job, I'm going to throw him in a fucking jail. Who we'll just opened the book, who we'll asked you, you did this, 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 and you're going to say, yes, sir, no, sir. And in that book, it says, I'm just talking about hypothetically, this is a book he got in his head due to the law school he attended. Accordingly, he will decide about what exactly your sentence will be. You understand? It won't even concern issues, other issues. There are many factors to consider. But as a judge, it's the same thing, like you go to a mechanic. He more or less will have to abide that little rule book, a guide. The law, basically. So, in the in my eyes, this guy till he confesses, or I should rather say, till he is proven guilty, remains as completely innocent. Um, my account about the police, what police did. My account about her not disclosing me facts, which I managed to bring about uh, once I realized that something was wrong with a car which I did not even drove, car that sitted right in front of the house, is the one that actually had here the official weight. So until this guy is proven, or if he confesses himself, he is completely innocent. In the eyes of my eyes, in the eyes of laws, whatever. The lady, the police officer who in the car, she is liable. Her son is liable. This police alone is liable. Let's go back to this issue here. I want to finish. All right, so the truth is, the fact of the matter is that I see here that really, I might have made it like a little mistake, the price really is ranging at around uh, 10, 12, 13. It's going to be a little bit difficult to make for me.
very, very strong point. But you have to admit this is like a half of what the price that you see here. This is the price when low, as low as four euros, you were able to see a bowl for something that lowest price on that other website was 10 euros. And that's a really, really good, uh, one of the strongest stores in Slovenia, if not the strongest, maybe, price-wise. Quality price-wise, this is the store you would go to. This is an Italian store. Very, very good store. Okay. Now, there is the issue with this stuff here. Now, let's see exactly what the issue is. I don't know where this particular manufacturer from Croatia had a soft spot for this car. Um, I'm not going to go and see other makes, uh, but I can assure, because I, I have too many easy ways to prove. Uh, and I, I didn't Google this stuff here. I demonstrated the street. The street has nothing to do with, uh, uh, with, with him. Fratesh, it's a 152. It doesn't have... Oh, let's reload this stuff again. Had nothing, I, I always say little, but it's got nothing to do with his uh, location where he is at and stuff he does and so on. In a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and I will demonstrate to you basically where he is. This is just a residential area. The owner told me, uh, you're going to do MK Ultra for us, for Croatia and this and that. Yeah, I maybe will do. I don't know. The thing about this is that we see this stuff is people want me to do MK Ultra. If I'm going to do this MK Ultra, I'm never going to get out. I'm going to remain. Um, all right, there is some kind of uh, stuff here parked. As you see, that should be interesting to me. If I'm going to be doing this stuff, do you know that, by the way, the whole Croatia was involved in it? Do you know how many people were involved in Hungary and in Italy and in Austria and in Germany? I'm going to spend 10 fucking lives doing what you see. Not 10, but maybe 100. Yeah, because it was really a million people involved in this stuff. So this is very nice, very, very generous to give me a reminder of where MK Ultra was. And that this is actually on his official site in Slovenia, which is totally different, opposed to Croatia not his address to exactly give me the proof that about what I stated. But what you're doing here, what he did is he actually gave, you know, just knowing about this crime, if you know about the crimes like this, you should always contact people that crime is taking place against them. Uh, if you um, cannot contact uh, individual uh, directly um you know you should contact um due to police involvement in his state uh you should connect you should contact your own police department or you should contact uh interpol uh european uh law enforcement authorities other authorities and if you can't then with uh, so many people involved in it as is in this case you would just use a number of people that would do this and then you would deliver this to the person involved. But, you know, it kind of loses this meaning itself uh, that I accented so much when really none of that stuff was done. It's the same shit like you would find the wallet, right? Then you would take the wallet to the police and the police tells you, sir, uh, this is not our wallet. And you would say, yeah, but it belongs to this and this and this guy. Uh, and they would say to you, you're not allowed to contact this and this guy. And you would see a lot of money in it, but you're not allowed to contact this guy. So you would say, um, hypothetically, you would say, so what am I going to do with this wallet? You don't want, you don't allow me to contact this guy. Uh, and they would say to you, just keep one at home uh, till he will realize uh, that you have his wallet, basically. This I'm just saying, like, hypothetically. Of course, nobody can realize that you have his wallet unless you would be somehow involved in it. Um, and you would be involved in it through, uh, let's say, 
police hijacked the guy, they drug him up, and then you would appear on a scene and you would do your circus in front of him so that he could find you. Now, do you understand what the fuck I'm saying? Uh, that's exactly what this shit is. This is impossible. Next to psychiatrists that are threatening one that they're going to they're gonna hospitalize if he's going to be looking for his wallet at your home. Um, I mean, this is, you're from another country, from God knows where and so on and so forth. So now, for the guy to learn about you, police have to go and break his car and that kind of clusterfuck. I mean, doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? But that's basically the nature of this crime. Um, he told me that he would go and put here like a phone number. So what kind of a phone number is this up here? Now let's see what kind of phone number is this here. So this is a phone from uh, Croatia and um, okay, we, we see here that's the number from the website here, yeah, okay. And this is his real telephone number. Okay, this is again the Slovenian site. I don't understand why he jumped to that one. But the Croatian site, which is with the same address, except the last SE is turned into HR, which is abbreviation, internet abbreviation for Croatia. Um, we can do the same thing. So that we get basically an idea where exactly we are at. All right. So the first thing before I'm going to get anywhere, I'm going to look for the real address. And the address is already the first thing I can prove different than the one on the site that is serving Slovenian party. Right. You can see here Dragutina Golica 14 Zagreb. This is the actual, the real uh, address. He's got stores and he's got his warehouse uh, manufacturing facility. All right, so let's see how that looks like. Boom, boom, boom. And we look at this stuff here. And we're going to see basically what that looks like. All right. And you see here that this is really out of Kresha and this is basically the store. This is this people involved since 1995 grew up from what you see here was like a original mechanic that type of stuff grew up into manufacture car dealer parts private company of course i remember the father i remember everything about this place how it all came to life you know um the next thing we're going to do is this is not really auto crasher not even this here is uh, if you want to see basically his facility, um, it's really not exactly like this. So we can do that stuff. They are actually located, and that's what I knew immediately, like next to the highway, you know, like exactly more or less in the area of Rimac and so on. Uh, oh, so, um, no, no. Yeah, okay. Hold on. Oh, this here, this is what you want. You want this here. This stuff here. This is actually the warehouse, the place. This is the real stuff we are talking about. Okay, okay. This is not very good. Are we going to get somewhere? No. Okay. Sorry, I didn't see, I didn't realize that this is actually located next to the highway because I didn't go uh, zoom myself out. Let me see that. Uh, we got to do something else here. It's not good enough. I'm still not sure that this is the place I'm talking about. Okay, so this is God, this hardly would be oh, let me see something else here.
Um, yeah, it would be. This is this is actually uh, this actually would be it. But I was actually even seeing myself like something like this and something like this. Uh, but it it looks like there could be that other right there. And so let me see what is in here. Let me see first what is here. And we're gonna know immediately. Uh, I'm not. Um, you know, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see this here. Uh, so you see this, some more of these cars. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah. Okay, I see this. Now this is really not it. Let me see this. Okay. Um. And then we have this stuff here. Okay. And um, uh, let me see something here. Yeah, this here. Um, yeah, strange case. Uh, they are here. This is okay. This is this is where they are. Uh, yeah, there you go. Rimats, Bugatti Rimats, and so on. Um, there are. This this is not the only location. They have other locations here. The entire Zagreb was involved, so it doesn't make any sense for me to. Uh, let's see this. I never traveled to Zagreb really. It's next door here, but my car is fucked up. <laughs> and before I did not, I left the United States of America when I was 23. Then I struggled between America and Slovenia, just doing what you see here to stay alive, basically, to survive due to this bullshit. So you can imagine that I, I as much as I would love to travel and on the sea and the Adriatic coast and to Croatia and have fun, and I had none. I had no life. I had nothing. Okay, let me see this. Let me see this here. Uh, yeah, let me see this here. No. Yeah, yeah, but this is the original. This is the original facility, man. Um, no, this is not cool. No, 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 no. The other one was really cool. I was in both loca locations. Uh, and this is just, uh, uh, there is another location they have, Alto Crescio, and uh, that's this here that you see here, this stuff here, my God, this is the fuck you see here. This is what I need to know. Uh, They moved to this facility um, unless uh, they upgraded that facility. Hold on, shit. What is 2019? No, I am correct, man. I am correct. Uh, so I am thinking. Yeah, this here. This is this is what this is. It's like a warehouse and stuff, but they are also producing, they are also manufacturing this stuff from what I can recall. Well, what I can recall, I mean, you the I was over there in a thousand places, locations, people manufacture, work, sell, uh, including with the Pollux uh, that traveled there and have made an investments and stuff like this. And how the hell am I gonna uh, let's go back here? Okay, I see, I see this stuff here. This was one of the people that uh, they have selected because he was more... Can, can, can we get there? Okay, no. This is, uh, okay, no. 
Yeah, I haven't done this stuff and uh, and not chill. Wait, wait a minute. You know what? Um, yeah, oh, this is like um, like two bucks away, something like this. They have this new facility. So maybe this, this year, maybe. Oh, let me see that. This was uh, of the psychiatrist Peter Kopp. She became interesting to him. Whatever became interesting to him, I no longer was interesting or wanted to have anything to do with it. Know about it even existed, anything like that. This looks like a very, very similar building. Uh, but I, th I still think that this is in another part of the city. Oh, shit. Um, so for me to say this is going to, what is that? I think that's a store or something like that. We got into the wrong place. Let me see this here, you know, about the bomb. That was a store. That was actually not his company. But, you know, the building I demonstrated here. There's a whole bunch of buildings here and all these people were involved. Imagine how nice. Okay, let's see this stuff here. All right, this doesn't look to me prosperous at all. Let's see something else here. We're gonna go out just like this. And I still suspect that facility that you have seen is located in another part of the city. Um, this was located in, what is this known as a Rudish or whatever. Something like this in this part of the town, in the facility that I believe that you have seen, uh, it should be actually somewhere here. Like he he had like another location or something like this also. Okay, as I do some more googling here. Because I don't want to waste time with this stuff. The only thing I did was I entered the, the, the company here and the address. Uh, I get some other locations also from Zagreb area. That's just the next block, just as I stated the case would be, appears it's here. So this is this here is the warehouse manufacturer, whatever it is. Let me see this stuff here. The Okoska. No, this is another company. This is not the same company. This is just the next door. Yeah, all these people were involved in it. Uh, the address I got, what I demonstrated is right here, you would go. And then, you know, this pretty much is where I would be brought to this area and then go from one house to another, from one company to another, back and forth, back and forth, play with this. <clears throat> there is another address here. Next to uh, okay, you, you have seen here. I'm going to go and take this one. Aha, uh -huh, there you go. Let's see this here. No, oh, but this is actually the center that should be.
This here, this was a heavy, heavy MKR tri area. So this is basically what they wanted me to go through and do. And that's pretty much what I was guided. All right, since uh, I'm thrown here in this place here, and it says uh, no of us and so on, but when you know and you Google this stuff, and it looks like this on the map here, I'm going to quickly tell you that sometimes in 2010, if not 2009, when I was brought uh, to Zagreb City by Americans, uh, a mayor of the city informed us, or whoever that girl was, uh, informed us that the street, the so-called Nabadnyak, have now changed. And this is, I remember, this company here, Torta, all this stuff, all this place, I remember, changed the name to, what is it now? Nova. Nova Ves, whatever. Okay, before it was uh, Nabadnyak, uh, and uh, I don't even know what uh, what 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 exactly does it mean, Nabadnyak. Let, let me see. Uh, I think they were teasing me with. Uh, uh, let's see this stuff here, Nabadnyak. Okay, Badnyak. Yeah, that's a creation word for uh, Christmas, Hanukkah, Pravoslavni, uh, uh, that's an Orthodox Christmas, not Badnyak. And uh, so that's actually like a Serbian word. And uh, Badnyak, Serbian. And so in 2009, I'm going to tell you, they changed this into Nova Ves. Uh, Batnia, this could be also something else they were teasing me with. Hold on. Uh, synonyms. Synonyms, Batnia. Uh, Georgia Van Zapalati, Vabia. The Senate's Sifas Analogy is a Badniak Croatian. Badniak. Badniak was, they were teasing me. This is like a celebration. You will, it's actually Christmas, but they were teasing me. It's going to be like, like a marriage, something in that sense. And uh, then they started to tear because you did not demonstrate any kind of competence and this and that and da, 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 da. We decided that we would change the name of the street, obviously, is what is now Nova Ves. Okay, Nova Ves was, but it was only, I think, up to here. Something like this it was, okay? So if I wouldn't be in a Zagreb, I should have been in the United States of America. And I was, beginning in 1995. I never went to Zagreb. I was in the Zagreb two times, maybe in my lifetime, with the school. And that was it. Other than that, I never went in a Zagreb. That was all prior to 1991. Other than that, I was not in a Zagreb. I went through Zagreb when I returned from Poland. And I went through Zagreb when I returned from Poland in 2020. Uh, from Czech Republic, I returned to, through Zagreb to Novo Mesto. 
in 2020. And I went through Zagreb in post-1991 when I, once I actually, when I landed in, I landed in a, you know, I'm actually not even sure if I ever landed in Zagreb uh, when I returned from the U.S. or no, or, or maybe from Europe. No, I, I definitely didn't have a time to go and investigate this kind of stuff. So, you know, I'm just saying basically that I know stuff about the Zagreb that maybe even people in Zagreb don't know about people, those who live in Zagreb or lived in Zagreb all their life, even the stuff like this and about Zagreb, which this is 80 kilometers from my city in Slovenia. Um, uh, what else did they say here? address, anything like this. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So there you have MK Ultra Proof. All right. Who knows me in Croatia? Who doesn't? The question is who doesn't. Not who knows me, but the question is who doesn't. Okay, well, I'm going to wrap it up this because I ain't got no time for this. Um, but this was really cool from this company, Auto Crash. Let me go here. Slovenian site for which they told me once you're going to video record the stuff you did, uh, we're going to put the real address on. Uh, all the stuff that uh, it can be here seen on this website is going to go uh, just the way it should have been also on a Croatian website. Okay, so it's going to be the proper information about it. This here, 013030, um, these are just dead threads uh, basically that involved uh, supposedly some Serb or something like this. You know, this is exactly why <laughs> I just prefer to stick here in uh, in Slovenia for the time being. Um, there is some bullets and stuff like this. Um, Zero, 01 and this and that. Uh, so I got that uh, from Croatian side. And uh, <clears throat> from Slovenian side, I got this here, which is really not 0130, but it's with a Croatian code here. And that did throw me, just as I stated, a reminder with the death threats. You know, it was this kind of stuff involved everywhere. No, nothing uh, nothing unusual nothing unusual you would click to the images and then you would get the stuff like this just to remind you um, let's see that uh, what's the matter with that stuff I'm going to get some bullets and stuff A little earlier, that's all I got. It was all covered with the bullets. Uh, okay, that's very nice. Uh, but I really am going to pursue exactly what I have seen a little earlier to prove the point. What exactly am I going? What exactly am I doing? To be so unsuccessful now.
You won't show anything about Nabodniak. You're not going to get any of that stuff. It's not going to demonstrate anything. If you don't know, like I do, you're not going to see anywhere in the map. Eventually, you're going to see it like this. Far, far, when you zoom out, and you're going to do something like this, it's going to pop up somewhere in the distance. Because you're going to zoom in, that it will all go, go on. It will disappear. That's all you get. So now, that's uh, something that very few people would know, but I do. Even the people in Zagreb would not know this. So you see, it's gone. The dot is gone. And if you zoom, and if you zoom further, or whatever you zoom, it's gone. So I'm telling you, you can trust me on what I'm saying. All right, for what I stated a few minutes earlier, exactly what you see here, okay? You entered exactly the number that I demonstrated you, and I got one here as I was going over. You can see here at 7, 10 hours, I was, I did the Google search, it looked like exactly like this. And uh, yeah, you get the British uh, ammunition, bullets. That's all you get, you click on the images and this is what you get. British ammo, comparison, identification, rifle, bullet, British ammunition and so on. Yeah, they had somebody whom they have presented as a Serb, whatever it is. The thing is, the politician, Franja Tujman, Mr. Gotovina, who went through storm in English, Oluya, in Croatian language, to liberate half of the Croatia, literally got assistance using me. You could say, both of the people that I mentioned and entire Sabor, I represented. Without me, Croatia today would not even be on a map. And for what I have stated, one have to say, rather is bizarre for somebody like me to use stuff like this to prove I was in Croatia. When in fact it should have been Croatian people right here at my doorsteps also taking accountability for a lot of stuff that took place after liberation of Croatia against me and doing absolutely nothing to help me out to return something for the country they have, literally. And I'm proud of it that I did Croatia, that I basically built Croatia, that I basically made Croatia. I'm very, very, very proud of it. All right, and so on and so forth. So I hope I did make, uh, I demonstrated you how all that stuff looks like. I did not find that other address. Uh, and maybe I even came out as stupid, but if I would go there, I would go from one company to another uh, throughout probably entire Zagreb, including the money exchange shops and everything else. Because uh, this is how it all started in 1995, when we walked from the city of the Novom Mesto all the way to Zagreb with the Slovenian police. Zagreb is the capital of Croatia, and my city is located about 80 kilometers, Novo Mesto. It's right between capital of Ljubljana and capital of Croatia. It's right here. That's a Novo Mesto right here. Okay, so I hope, however, that I did demonstrate you uh, 
Oh, this is more proofs about MK Ultra. Let me see something else. Um, be interesting for me would be to see this here. Also, this would this would be like a good stuff for me to go completely over this stuff here. Uh, so this is like a 49 Croatian kunas. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this away. I'm going to delete this stuff here. I don't want that one. I'm going to take the cheapest one. And uh, the cheapest one, as crazy it might seem, says here something fine. Okay, we're going to go with this one here for four euros. It's like bizarrely, bizarrely cheap stuff. Bizarrely cheap. Like, we're going to do this. We're going to take this. Thank you. All right. And now we're going to go to the registry. And we're going to see, basically, it all together with delivery will cost me 53 Croatian kunas. And I can tell you that something like this is impossible. All right, if I go back here, and we're going to go to this 4 euros, that's a 46 kunas. You see this here? Translated 6 euros with only five kunas for delivery which is about i don't know um no yeah it is i i actually even choose the wrong one or what where is the one for the four euros yeah that's the wrong one i'm going to take this one here for 31 that costs four euros all right and now we're going to go and we're going to remove the one for 46. We're going to go to the register. Uh, from the register, I'm going to go again into the basket. And I'm going to remove this one here for 46. And I'm going to keep one for 31, which is 40 euros. I can assure you that the point of I'm doing this is a seven and five uh, kuna. All right, I can assure you that this is impossible. This is entirely impossible because nobody's going to get delivery in Slovenia under five euros. Uh, I think under three and a half euros, you know, you don't get shit in Slovenia. You don't get any kind of delivery. The cheapest delivery in Slovenia would be at least three and a half euros. And probably for this part more. Uh, three and a half euros, this is another 30 kunas. So the cost is about 60 something kuna in Croatian language. Uh, All together, however, it says it's a 38 kuna. But the 38 kuna, you don't, in Slovenia, you barely get any delivery in Slovenia. So this is the website that sit there. For many, many years, I was even told it appeared and it disappeared and so on and so forth so that I would uh, find one and get proof about MK Ultra. <sighs> Which eventually I did. Let's see what is here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, just before I do this, I'm going to do one more, a few more things I'm going to do. I'm going to go and compare this with the same part in Croatia, how much the cost is, so that I get idea about that, to see if it's the same in the same price rank. Um,
<clears throat> this is actually Bertva Glava Motora. This is a completely uh, different uh, <clears throat> totally different But this is basically the same, and the engine is basically the same, and uh, it should just do the job. There you go. So you see how much is on the Croatian website from this company, uh, the price. Now, okay. We got uh, different costs here completely. Now, in euros, it's like 31 euros, 45 euros, 46 euros. 47 euros, 47 euros, and so on. So, for me to say, I can say that whatever was in euros, Alyusa Bertva, Ayusa, Ayusa, uh, you know what? Let's go to this one here that I already have. One is L ring is 46 and phi 31. Uh, it appears to me that this stuff was listed in euros. Because that is profitable. That's very expensive, actually. That's uh, um, That does make sense to me. Okay, L ring, as you see in Croatian side, is 46 euros. Therefore, they prorated one into Croatian kuna by multiplying euros with a kuna, which adds to 347 kuna. When in fact, on the Slovenian side, this company posted the price uh, of dividing Euro, uh, euros with Croatian kunas. They got, for instance, for 46 euros, they translated into, uh, translated 46 kunas, they translated this into, I don't know what, it, what, what uh, the number was, six and a half euros or whatever it is. And you have the other one, which is phi, which was, uh, was translated, as you see here, to uh, 31 kunas, right? The cost was actually 4 euros, they translated on the Slovenian side, 4 euros. But uh, actually, these are, these are euros here. These are euros here, and... Uh, just like you see here, uh, there's 234 kunas that you see here was translated on Slovenian side as uh, demonstrated 31 euros as a kuna they demonstrated this as a 4 euros so I we can we can come to conclusion on since this is the website that already appeared, that was demonstrated to me in 2015, uh, that this website appears and disappeared. This website appeared and disappeared, and I think it was more than once or twice. And it appeared again with the permission of the Slovenian government. Because this is very, very surveillance, deeply surveillance. You wouldn't see what you see, but with the permission of inspectors, stuff like this even went on and goes on. This is extremely, extremely surveillance. The internet in Slovenia, as far as the financial transactions concerning Croatia, neighboring delivery, parts, and so on, uh, you would have inspectors do, just doing what I was doing 24-7. And this stuff that you see here went on since 2015. This Croatia owner, 
a mechanic uh, also has sons and so on and so forth. I remember his sons. No, I ain't got nothing else to say. This I'm going to use, obviously, I'm going to use this stuff to support just what you wouldn't believe is possible, but it is possible. There is just so much stuff that I have to uh, demonstrate more. I believe that it's not that I believe this. No, these are just plain facts. And you know, make the indicate another video about this stuff. What is this here? What do you see? This is a Google search engine. And if you type the Auser times in here and you click on an images, what what do you see here? What do you see here? You don't see nothing here. You see scandal at project. You see my Italian friends uh, posting the stuff uh, to make me visible, even on the internet. And uh, you don't see anything. Do you know that when it comes to numbers here, Yeah, it says 1.4 uh, billion results, you know. My images used to flood internet. Everything was covered with, with the images on my internet. You know what this Google owners told me, these two guys? They told me what Angela Merkel already took responsibility, what British took responsibility for it. That they were going to have all the results about me, about my website deleted from the, and so on. But they will leave, let me use a YouTube and blogger. And once my case is closed, uh, they're going to start charging for the blogger and for the YouTube. So that I shouldn't even complain about what you see. And this is, what is this here? Okay. These two guys were involved since 95, but what you see is uh, Google. And Google is the biggest search engine in the world, I'm sure you know. So what do you see now? This is Yahoo search engine. What do you see now? Opposed to Google, what do you see? Well, now you see me everywhere. Now I am present everywhere. You look, you get to see images from my website, from the Auser Times. But this is a much smaller company than a Google. So what I stated to you is true. Now, what do you see now? You see what? You see Microsoft, Bill Gates. It's called Microsoft Bing. And now what do you see? You see this, exactly the same thing. Where am I not present? Where? Where could you see me not everywhere? The internet is covered without making any mistake with the stuff I do. That's me everywhere. Yet it's right. We go back to the Google. The biggest search engine in the world, what do you see? You don't see anything. Exactly. There you go. Do I exist anywhere? Nowhere. Anybody ever heard of me? No. no. This is the biggest case in the world. This is the only website in the world when it comes to credibility. The real news is what? 
is more than a news. It's true. In today's world, the real news is true because everything else, guess what it is? What you see here is what it is. Nowhere I don't exist on a Google. They keep deleting and deleting and deleting. You know what? Right now, right here, I'm signed in. But in this browser here, I'm not signed in. And we're going to do the same thing. I almost made a mistake. Let's do the same thing. What do you see? Same shit. I don't exist anywhere. See what I'm saying? Nowhere. How is it possible? Stuff like this. Well, it's possible. It's possible. You ask the Google founders, the Larry Page, you ask, and you ask the other guy, how is it possible? And it's possible. It is possible. It's not only possible. This is the way it is. There you go. See what it is? That's what it is. It's true, what I told you. It's people mirroring me throughout the internet because the cyberspace became something else. We live in a world that people should really, really, really start to worry about it. It's not okay about what's happening. And we're not going to stop this on time. The world is going to go to hell. Because everything I have stated to you on the website, this is real. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.